Once you've downloaded Drupal 8 to your own computer, it's time to upload Drupal 8 to your hosting environment. Let's take a look at our file system on our hosting account. In cPanel, which is what InMotion uses and what many web hosts use, you'll find your file manager under the files section of cPanel, and then you'll see a file manager icon. If your cPanel installation is using the paper lantern theme, it works just the same, it just looks different. We see files here and file manager right here. We'll go ahead and click on this. And before you go any farther, make sure that you have show hidden files checked. We have to be able to see the hidden files, otherwise known as dot files, because they begin with a dot. We have to be able to see these in order for this process to work correctly. So with that selected, we're going to choose the web root. This is where our actual website goes in our hosting environment. We'll click go. And now we are in what is in most hosting environments, on most servers, our public underscore HTML folder. Some web hosts may call this something different, but you just need to make sure that you are in your web accessible folder. These are the files that comprise your site. As you can see, in our setup, right out of the box, we already have some files before we've begun creating a website or installed Drupal or anything. In most cases, you want to delete any files that are here, but you usually want to save any folders that are in this folder. Now it's impossible to address this for every single hosting setup, so if you're confused about something that may have to remain, you can ask your web host about that. If you do end up removing something that it turns out you needed to have kept, it's usually no problem to have your web host restore that file for you. In my case, I have these files and I know that I don't need any of them because they can conflict with our Drupal installation, so I'm going to delete them. I will select all, and then you will choose delete. We will trash these files. Now we have an empty directory. A lot of the times you may have a CGI bin folder that you can keep and things like that. Again, remove any files, generally speaking, and usually you want to keep any directories. Once that's been cleared out, let's upload the compressed package we downloaded from Drupal.org. We're going to upload this right here to our public HTML folder. We'll click Upload, choose File, then you'll navigate to wherever you downloaded the Drupal tar.gz file to. Click on that and click Open or Upload or whatever your operating system gives you. And we'll wait for that to upload for a second. It shouldn't take very long, maybe a minute or two. Now, once that's completed, we'll go back to our file manager. We can reload, and we'll see that we have our tar.gz file here. Before we go any farther, it's generally best practice to go ahead and delete our local copy of this download. So in our own operating system, not on our web host, we'll find that tar.gz file and go ahead and send that to the trash. We do this because whenever we install Drupal again in the future, we want to make sure that we always get the most recent version of Drupal. If it's been updated in the meantime since the last time we downloaded it, we don't want to get this old version. We always want to make sure we get the most recent and up-to-date version of Drupal. So that's why we go ahead and trash that so we make sure we're not using something that's old. Once that's done, we'll go back to our server. We're going to click on our tar.gz file and we're going to extract it. Click Extract Files. Now note, if you're using an FTP client, you may want to go ahead and extract the file locally on your own operating system and then just upload all the files manually. But if you're using cPanel, you want to upload it and extract it there. You'll see the extraction results. It looks fine. Close that. With that done, now you can get rid of your tar.gz file. We will delete that. And what we need to do now is we need to take all of the files within this Drupal-8 point something folder 
and move them up to where they are actually in this directory, not in this Drupal subdirectory within public HTML. We want all the files in here to be the first files you see when you go to public HTML. So navigate into your Drupal folder, and here you'll see all of the files that comprise the Drupal file system. Make sure that you do see these dot files here, the ones whose names begin with a dot. If you don't see those, then that means you forgot to check to show the hidden files, and the installation process is not going to work correctly if you're missing that. So once you have all these, what you're going to do is we will select all of them, and we want to move them. Right now they are in this Drupal 8 point something folder. We're going to delete all of this up to public HTML. So we're moving them up one folder directly into public HTML. Click move files. That usually is a pretty fast process. And let's go back up one level, or we can just go straight to public HTML over here. And now our directory looks a bit different. We have all of the Drupal files here. We also have this empty Drupal-8 dot something folder. We'll want to go ahead and delete that. With all that done, now the Drupal file system is on our server.